everyone, for what values of x does our series converge absolutely and conditionally? We're also going to find the interval of convergence. We're using the ratio uh, test whereby we have the limit as n approaches infinity of absolute value of a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n equals some limit, and it has to be less than 1 for it to converge absolutely. So let's look and see what we have and fill everything in. We're going to use the limit as n approaches infinity with absolute value of x to the power of, so we're doing n plus 1, so this is going to be 2n plus 3 divided by n plus 1 factorial. We're dividing by a sub n, so that's going to be times the reciprocal of this, n factorial divided by x, uh, absolute value of x to the power of 2n plus 1. All right, so let's see what we have. Um, let's simplify this and write this as the limit. As n approaches infinity, let's group these two together. This is just going to be um, absolute value of x to the power of 2n plus 3 minus uh, 2n plus 1. So these cancel, and so this is the absolute value of x squared. So absolute value of x squared for this piece. And this piece is going to be uh, n factorial divided by n plus 1 times n factorial. So this cancels out. So basically what we have is x squared, because you don't need the um, square part for absolute value times the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 divided by n plus 1. Well, when you take this limit, um, um, this is just going to equal 0, because as this uh, denominator gets larger and larger, it's going to get closer and closer to 0. So basically, the series converges for all real numbers. I'll just put for all real numbers. All right, the, the upside down A means for all. All right, and then so the interval of convergence is negative infinity to infinity. This is your interval of convergence, and there's no conditional here, and this is absolutely here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.